I have two goals for this artwork. You ready to hear them? Good. Goal number one, complete this piece in five hours. As someone whose drawings take anywhere from 10 to 18 hours, trying to complete a drawing in five hours would be like chewing broken glass. Oh so, yeah, that'll be interesting. Goal number two is to not base the face off of anyone in particular. The reason I say this is because my style consists of creating concept arts of actors and actresses of Marvel and DC characters. So, I want to switch things up a bit. Anyways, enough talking. Let's get started. I started off by gathering references from Pinterest, Google, and Instagram. Once all of the references were gathered, I set a one hour timer to complete the entire sketch. Yeah, so, funny story. Remember goal number two? I did not, in fact, stick to that goal. I was actually doing pretty great with not basing Supergirl face off of anyone. But then, I came across this reference. I've always thought that Madeline Klein would be the perfect Supergirl, especially since she looked nearly identical to the DC animated Supergirl. Anyways, after an hour, I was pretty happy with how the sketch turned out, but I decided to mess around with it for an extra 10 minutes. And another 10 minutes. And at this point, I was satisfied with the sketch. Now, let's move on to the inking. I personally really like to take my time with inking, so completing the inks in under 30 minutes was definitely challenging for me. So I inked for an extra 10 minutes, and I ended up with this. Onto the flats. That was fast. I was actually able to complete the flats in under 30 minutes, and although flatting is the most tedious part of the process, it's also the easiest. Shading is often one of the most time-consuming parts of a drawing for me, because I usually try to perfect it as much as I possibly can. So, after messing around with it for another 15 minutes, I was happy. Like shading, lighting is also one of the hardest parts of a drawing for me. It can make or break a drawing, so after messing around with it for another 30 minutes, I was beyond satisfied with how the drawing was turning out so far. At this point, I spent a little over three and a half hours on this piece, leaving me about an hour and a half left to render the rest of the drawing.
In total, I spent 5.8 hours on this artwork. Although I went slightly over my goal, I'm still beyond happy with how this turned out. It was definitely stressful being under a time limit, especially at the beginning, but as I got used to it, I actually really enjoyed it. The main thing I learned from this drawing was how to work under a time limit. I actually was able to reduce my drawing time by 41%, which I personally am really proud of. This is something that I think everyone should try. Even if you're not an artist, but you find yourself procrastinating anything, whether it's work, schoolwork, cooking, reading, etc. This method will hopefully motivate you to get things done quicker and fix your mindset to not procrastinate. And I truly think I'm going to continue to use this method moving forward. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed or learned something from this video, feel free to like this video and comment what you learned. And if you want to see more videos like this, consider subscribing to my channel. Bye.